Hello, Mrs. McCracken Scholars. How's everybody today? We are going to go over our next week of at-home learning, May 11th through 15th. So let's find out what we're going to be doing this week. First of all, since summer is near, I wanted to know <clears throat> who out of you guys would might be interested in doing a little book club over the summer. Um, we would be reading the BFG from Roald Dahl, one of our favorite authors. And um, so here are, here are the details. If you're interested, you're gonna click right here and it's gonna take you to a little form that looks like this. Hold on. Here we go. And it's gonna give you some, some details right here. Um, our summer book club would meet for the month of June, and if you're interested in participating, you can let me know here. Um, I will provide you with a copy of the book and a little notebook so that you will have the, your materials. And then the only other thing that you would need besides your book and your notebook would be your device. And I have some good news. If you have a TUSD device at home with you, you're going to be allowed to keep that over the summer. Um, so that is super awesome. So if you are interested in, in joining our book club, we'll be meeting a couple times a week via Google Meet to talk about our reading. And I think it would be a lot of fun for us. So hopefully we'll get some people interested. So fill out the form if that sounds like something you'd like to do together. Um, okay, the next thing is Flipgrid. Now, I know that we have our Flipgrid that we do each day for our class, but I also want you to know that we have some Flipgrids for SDOC. And so if you, on your slide, it, that little link will just take you right there. And don't forget, if you would like to add to any of those, I think there's three grids on there right now. Um, one was for te teacher appreciation. One was for your favorite food. And the third one was an activity that you enjoy. So if you want to join our school flip grid and see what the others are saying and, and put your opinion in there too, that would be great. And also, I think there's going to be another topic coming out this week. Dr. Heidemann will be posting that very soon. So um, participate in our SDOC Flipgrid as well as our class Flipgrid that we've been doing each day. And we're going to talk about our class Flipgrid in just a minute. Um, hopefully you are checking in on our class website every week. Every week there are new things there for you. Um, if you can't find something or if you need some helpful information or links, please look at our class website. And also your parents will also find their website very handy for them. So keep it handy. Put a, put a, um, add it to your home screen on your iPad. Okay, um, this week we are going to be having um, our Monday meeting today at 10 o'clock. Um, we will have Writer's Workshop Tuesday and Thursday this week at 10 o'clock. We are, we have a pretty cool virtual field trip this week. We are going to, we are going to see some steam trains, you know, the old fashioned locomotives. So we're going to be going to the California State Railroad Museum for a virtual field trip on Wednesday at 9.50. And um, I think that's, this is going to be one of our best ones yet. I think you'll really love it. Um, and then Friday, we have Music with Miss Bihar. And then Friday is our film festival. So for those of you who I know we had several students from our class um, enter their videos that they created to the film festival. And so we are going to have a viewing party together at 4 o'clock on Friday. So that should be super fun. Um, we'll watch it together and see if we have any winners from SDOC. I can't wait. Okay, what's next? Oh, and that's just a reminder that Monday meeting this week is at 10 o'clock, not 11. So we're changing to 10 o'clock, I think, from here on out. 
Okay, next. Okay, look at this beautiful classroom. I cannot take the credit for this. This was created by Mrs. Venezia, but look how cool it is. It looks like a real classroom that I'm sitting in, only it's, it's, not, it's just pretend. But this is for our May character trait, and our character traits for May are poise and confidence. And so if you want to, so here's how this little page works. Um, you can see me sitting there on my little stool, and I'm holding Inch and Miles our, our pyramid, for our Pyramid of Success. And so if you want to re have the book read to you, you just click on it. You click on the book, and there it takes you to the Inch and Miles book. I'll let that pop up for just a minute. Okay. Inch and Miles, the journey to success. Okay. So that's there. And then also, if you come back, if you look at this little book shelf right here, there are, let's see, four, eight, 12 different books there that um, have to do with our character traits for the month of poise and confidence. So any of these books, if you click on them, like here's the one, uh, the Bad Case of Stripes. You know, I know we all kind of like that book. So if you want to hear that book and listen to it, um, you can just click on it and there, there, there it is for you. So I thought you might like that. Um, and you can definitely use any of that for your reading log. So that would be fun for you. Just click the books for the links to the read alouds. Okay, um, thank you for continuing to do daily check-in. Okay, and then let's talk about our Flipgrid for our morning meeting each day. Um, so it's totally changed this week. So every day is a little bit different. And we have a writing assignment this week that um, goes along with your Flipgrid. So if you do the Flipgrids every day, it's going to help get your thinking started for your writing assignment this week. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So Monday's topic is what are some of your best memories from this school year? So think back to when we were in school, or maybe you can even think of a good memory that you've had while we're distance learning. So think of your best memories from the school year. That's for Monday. Tuesday, I want you to think about how have you grown this year as a scholar? Where have you shown, where do you feel like you've had success? Have you, has your reading level gone up? Are you understanding harder math concepts that were that you would struggle with before? Um, do you feel like your writing has improved this year? So Tuesday is how have you grown as a scholar? Um, and then Wednesday, we're going to think about what kind of struggles did we have this year? I can certainly tell you right now, one of the struggles that I've had is distance learning. You know, I miss you guys so much. And um, just changing from being in a regular classroom to teaching online has been really hard, um, you know, but we're all doing the best we can and, and just trying our best every day. But I would definitely say that would have been one of my struggles. So think of kind of what kind of struggles did you have this year? On Thursday, I want you to think about what are your goals for next school year and you know, that's a long time to think about until when August comes and the new school year starts, but it'll be here before we know it. And so just start thinking about what are, what are some of the goals you might have for yourself for next year when you're fifth graders and fourth graders. Okay, and then on Friday, I want you to think your, about your goals for the future. Um, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you want to go to college? Do you want to, do you have a certain career in mind that you want to do? So that's what you can think about for Friday. So those are our Flipgrid topics. If you haven't been doing Flipgrid recently, um, I would encourage you to go back this week and you know have everybody respond to those. Um, as you'll see, it's going to help your thinking get started for your writing assignment. Okay, so this is kind of what our, our week is going to look like. So in math, um, by now, you should have all gone into happy numbers to take your placement test, and then you have a goal, um, 
you know, of so many minutes. And this week, your goal is 60 minutes. So if you practice 15 minutes a day for four days, how many minutes is that? That would be 60 minutes. So it's not too bad. Um, I do want you to reach your happy numbers goal every week from here on out. So 60 minutes in happy numbers. If you haven't gotten there yet, you find happy numbers in Clever. You go to Mrs. McCracken's class where my Bitmoji is, kind of like the way you find Freckle, same way. And happy numbers is back there near the Freckle app. Okay. We are no longer using Freckle. And we are no longer using Reflex. We are switched all the way over to happy numbers for the rest of our school year. And then, of course, your daily math review that's assigned in Google Classroom, just like always. So we have that Monday through Thursday. Um, writing, as I've been mentioning, we have our final writing assignment that we are going to be working on. We're going to be writing our draft this week. And then next week, we'll be typing that into a Google Doc, but not yet. This week, I just want you writing your draft on notebook paper, just like we do in class. We're just writing our rough drafts. Um, our Google Meets, uh, we have our Monday meeting. Tuesday and Thursday, we have Writer's Workshop. Wednesday is our virtual field trip. And uh, Friday is Music with Miss Bihar and our Film Festival for TUSD. And then what you'll be doing for reading and language arts, you're going to be continuing with the one and only Ivan and doing the comprehension questions in your Google Slides, reading for 45 minutes or more every day. Yes, the one and only Ivan absolutely counts for that. Also, the books that you saw for our monthly character trait, Poison Confidence, those also count for your reading log. So 45 minutes, make sure it adds up. And then your two Lexia pages, make sure you're taking a photo of those and posting those on your slides. Please let me know if you need a new packet. And log into Lexia every day and work for 20 minutes until your weekly goal is met. Okay, so we're going to be working on that each day this week. Let's talk about your writing assignment, your final writing assignment. Okay, so the first paragraph, what are some of your best memories from the school year? Are you getting it? Do you see why I'm having you do this on Flipgrid? So Monday, that's what your paragraph will be. So your Flipgrid is going to help you think about what you might want to write. Um, your second paragraph, how have you grown as a scholar? Third paragraph. What kind of struggles did you have this year? Your fourth paragraph is your goals for next year. And your fifth paragraph will be your goals for the future. So you can kind of see how those go together. This is always a good piece. Okay, so um, one and only Ivan, everything is here for you, for your reading. Um, you have your assigned pages Monday through Friday. Um, if you want to know how to learn, listen, and read at the same time, you can click here and it will show you how. The digital book is here and the audio book is here. So you guys should be able to know how to do that by now. Okay, and don't forget to update your reading log. Okay, and then Monday through Friday, it's all pretty much the same. So Monday, your checklist is here. You're going to write your, for writing, you're going to do your first paragraph. Okay, and then your comprehension. For your writing paragraph, you will take a picture of your draft so I can see your progress. And you will put your photo of your first paragraph here. Okay, so you're going to be taking a picture of your first paragraph and posting it here. And then also taking a picture of your Lexia pages like you always do. And the rest of the week goes is basically the same. You, you've got your checklist, your comprehension questions. Tuesday is your second paragraph. You write your paragraph, take a picture of it, and post it here. Okay? And so the rest of the week goes exactly the same way. There's no special project. We're just working on that writing assignment plus the other things that we always do. 
I've added some extra videos here for you for math help. So any problems that you are stuck in, you should be able to look here to find the tutorials. And I've also added those into your, um, into your assignments too. I've embedded those. So those should be there for you. Mystery Doug, we have another one this week that you can watch and then take a vote on the next topic. So I would encourage you to do that too. And our craft project this week, I thought it, it looked kind of fun. It's making clay. So, and there's not very many ingredients. It's super easy. And so you can make your own clay at home. And if you, if you do that and you make some little creations, you can post those on Seesaw for us to see your creations. Okay. And the rest is, you know, the, the links and the pages that are there for you that, you know, that are always kind of there for your information and, um, and for your use to help you. Okay, so I think that's it. I will see you at our Monday meeting at 10 o'clock. And we're going to have another great week. Summer's coming, but we are still in school. Don't go on vacation yet. We're still, we'll st we're still hard at work learning and um, finishing up our school year. So I'll see you soon. And let me know if you have any questions or you need anything. You know where to find me. Bye.